My focus had always been on my outside garden until my good customer asked me to look at growing microgreens. I jumped in and started producing a little bit for them and just fell in love with the process. I've got an opportunity to start selling to other restaurants and I really need to increase my capacity. Take a peek as I jump into it and build a new station. Hey everybody, welcome to Yellow Dog Farm. You guys, I've got an amazing problem to solve. I gotta grow so much more stuff. You saw what my setup is just before the intro, and that's just not enough. We sell to an amazing restaurant in Somerville, South Carolina, and they introduced us to another restaurant, and we have an opportunity to support them as well, a bunch. So I really need to increase capacity for our microgreens. And so what you see in front of me is a station that I saw on the YouTube channel, On The Grow, and they put together a nutrient film technique microgreen station. So I'm gonna duplicate that. So I'll put in the uh, upper right corner, I'll put a link to their video because it's just amazing. It shows you every step to take and you'll be able to see what we're doing here. So uh, it might even be worth your time to just take a quick stop and go look at that video and see what I'm working towards. But uh, here I am, I'll go ahead and get started and point out what we've got going on. Okay, I went ahead and put the bottom two um, film trays down here so you can take a look and see what we're working towards. This end of the um, frame is actually an inch and a half taller than that frame down there. So you can see we have these plastic film trays here from Crop King. Once again, you'll be able to check that out in CJ's video. You'll see it'll put a film of water that runs down the trough drains into a reservoir, and then each of the six shelves will do that. And we'll have these mesh trays sitting inside the trough, and so they'll get water uh, six times a day for about 15 minutes at a time. So it'll automatically water the microgreens, which is a really big deal, because I'm about to really increase the amount of stuff that I grow, and that'll give me a lot of time back during the day to be able to focus on something else. So this is what we're working towards. The only really big difference that I had from CJ's setup, and once again, it's not a big difference, is I made my bottom two shelves with a 12 inch gap. That way I can grow large mica greens on the bottom and then a 10 inch gap for the rest of the shelves uh, where I'll be growing smaller stuff. The restaurant that I'm currently going to be selling to, the second restaurant is an Italian restaurant and they want a ton of basil microgreens. So having short shells really works for the setup there. And then I'll use these bottom two for my existing microgreens that I grow. Overall, this setup will have 36 trays, which is just a ton of microgreens. So let's get to it and we'll start uh, bringing in all of the uh, film trays so that you can see those. And then we'll start figuring out the drainage. Now I bought these trays from Crop King. Their standard length is 12 feet long, but they do sell it in six foot sections. And this is what you can see here, because I will be putting this in my house, so I can't handle a 12 foot section. Uh, it comes with just the trough, and then you can see these end caps here. One end cap has the drain to go ahead and let water out. And then this side, it's a solid end cap. And we're gonna go ahead and drill some holes right here that'll hold the water that'll feed into that. So it'll go right there. But I think the first thing we're gonna do is put these trays on here and clean them up.
Well, morning, everyone. It's actually been a couple of days since we worked on the microgreen station. This is, well, hello, Mama. Hi. Mama's our shop supervisor. So it's been a couple of days since we've done some work on this. Off camera, I went ahead and put the drain supply on. There's really no pressure, so all these PVC pipes, uh, one inch uh, Schedule 40 PVC pipes were just cut with a um, PVC cutting tool, and then I went ahead and fit them on. So uh, no, no big deal, easy peasy, and today we're gonna work on the supply lines. There's the pump that's gonna pump the water. There's mama. That pump is gonna go down in that tub and it's gonna go in this black hose here. And it's gonna go to what we call the high side. And you can see there it'll branch. And it's got a three quarter inch line. Hard to see, but there's the, there's the three quarter inch line there. And it's got these little quarter inch lines that come out of it. Let me come up here where I can see it a little, where I don't have to stoop down. There you can see the connection going in. And then this quarter inch line just goes like that. In fact, this one here is done. It's just a simple little hole. You just pop it in there like that. If you look at it from this side, it just holds the the uh, water line just like that. Squirts the water down the tray, and the the uh, plants will be sitting in here. They'll soak up the water. Drains out that hole. Goes down the pipe, and goes back to the pump. Well, here's the system in action. You can see everything circulating from the supply side down the troughs and back into the tub. Really relieved that it works and super relieved that there's no leaks. We can bring it inside now and work on the light. Well, here it is in the house. We've got it in its... Uh, permanent home and it's ready to start growing now that we've got the lights installed and you can see here there are six foot long LEDs that are centered on the frame over the top of the trough. In fact, you can see it pretty good looking down this way and we've got lights in every shelf so it's all lit up and I started this part of the video without the lights on because they're so dang bright. But uh, with that, the only thing that's left to do is put the air stones in and turn this thing on as soon as the uh, microgreens are ready to start growing. So I'll turn these lights on so you can see just how bright this is. If uh, you have someone from the space station complained about the bright lights, I'm sorry. That's pretty darn amazing. Yeah, thanks for checking out this build. And uh, I'm looking forward to growing many, many microgreens in here. I'll put out a, a YouTube short here in a little bit once we get something growing in it. Thanks for watching. See ya.